Most Minecraft worlds are almost infinite, with unlimited supplies and resources. And quite frankly, that's too easy. So in this Minecraft series, I will lock myself into a tiny prison the size of one chunk to be precise. And with every episode, I will unlock more terrain to explore. This is episode one. So I have three main objectives. Explore the chunk top to bottom, secure an unlimited water source, and create a sustainable food income. So stay tuned till the end to see if my brain is big enough to master these objectives. Like all worlds, I'm just gonna start by fisting this tree. I just need to make oak planks so nobody knows what I've done. We all know that the first thing to make is a wooden pickaxe. And lucky for us, we got some stone right about here. But because I'm an OG, we're gonna get a stone axe. And I think I'm just gonna remove all of these trees really quickly. At least the ones I can get to. Oh, I got my first apple. I hope the trees never find out the truth. I just want their fruit. Time to go cave hunting. The big brain plan is to get some coal. Otherwise, I'm gonna be mining down here in the dark. Oh yeah, we got some iron. And the coal just came in clutch. I think I can mine these side ones, but because of the border, I can't get those ones. But I will not complain. That should be enough torches to light this entire chunk so that mobs don't spawn. So I gotta light the surface with a bunch of these torches. I really need to find some more coal. And would you look at that? I honestly think I'm just gonna place all these trees right next to each other and see if they grow. I'm gonna make a furnace in the meantime. And just like that, we have our iron ingots, which means I'm absolutely filthy rich. But I will be making an iron pickaxe and I should also make a stone pickaxe just in case because in reality I'm pretty poor and I don't have any iron but regardless I'm gonna weigh some to make a shield so the plan is to keep cutting down these trees as many of them as I can and just hope that I get some apples and because that didn't work out I'm going to look for some seeds I have like a few more grass left oh no Yes! Can I get one boy? That would be very nice. <gasps> and because the Minecraft gods are smiling down on us, we have some water. This is one of the biggest advancements I've made so far. These little green things planted in the ground. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm... He looked at me funny. Oh, look, some copper. Can't remember the last time. Actually, I'm gonna get it really quickly. Is it time to eat the only food I have? Maybe I can get another apple if I buy this tree. That didn't work out, so I'm gonna see if I can find some mobs, like skeletons, so I could get bone meal. I can't forget about my favorite or of all time. That was sarcasm, if you couldn't tell. And I hope you like this nice shot of my massive... I hear something right here. Oh my gosh. I'm at three hearts. I gotta be careful here. Please give me a bone. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. I got some coal here. I'm just really worried about the food situation. I only have an apple. I'm gonna leave it dark down there so that mobs can spawn. The good news is that this tree spawned while we were down there. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I what are the chances of a tree spawning as soon as I walk through it? Oh man, this game wants me to die so badly. I have to eat my only piece of food now. Almost died to a tree on day one. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Please, I'm using my Oh the heavens have saved me. This is this is good news. The apple landed here next to the crops. If I could honestly just make it through the night. One thing's for sure is I need a sword. And I hear some skeletons. And that's when I met a Laguna Booth. Oh my gosh. Oh man, that scared me. It's a creeper. Okay, we gotta kill him. <laughs> what are these chances? I haven't even gotten a bone. And a tree hasn't even grown yet. Wow, the, the disrespect. I'm gonna have copper. I, that, I, I'm cool, I guess. I hear some bats over in this direction. Oh my gosh, it's a mine shaft. It's a spawner too, I, but I can't reach to it. I don't think it's gonna spawn at anything. And I'm gonna make this a tunnel down here. Maybe that'll spawn some mobs in. It's so stressful being at one heart with two food bars and then an apple to show for all of that. <gasps> yes, another apple. Let's go. I'm kind of begging the crops to grow faster, but what can I say? They're doing the best they can already. I hope nothing scares the buku out of me. <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh. But hallelujah, we have a zombie. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's another creeper. How am I still alive at this point? <laughs> There's a lot of bats in here. Wait, this is probably what's preventing other mobs from spawning, honestly. And I'm kind of sick of only having one heart, so I need one more piece of food so I can start regenerating any health. Besides apples, I think I've exhausted all of my food potentials. We're gonna go right here next to these trees and hope that they grow. I don't think leaves can suffocate you, so... We gotta eat the two apples, and then we gotta eat the rotten flesh, but I don't think I'm gonna move. Man, I'm so close. Oh, man. We're just gonna sit here. We're gonna see if a tree will spawn or some mobs spawn underneath. <gasps> There's a zombie! 
we stand a chance at life again and we're gonna have another rotten flesh just so i can start regenerating health that makes me feel so much better it also almost just occurred to me that my iron pickaxe is almost broken i'm gonna start being more resourceful and saving it because i can't remember the last time i came across any iron the wheat is ready we got two wheat seeds from that that's huge and right now i'm honestly just hoping that one of these trees will grow as i was saying and we can use our hoe again to see if we get an apple Yes, I'm relying on trees to survive. Like, since when did people rely on trees to survive? I guess I need to go back to biology. We got these fools shooting each other. We got that one to die. We even got a bow. Holy, we got five bones. That's massive. This is great. We're finally gonna have a farm. My mouth has never watered more for a nice loaf of bread with some olive oil and some salt. I regenerated all my health. We no longer have to rely on these little stupid trees pretty soon we will have a massive farm and no one will be able to defeat us oh oh okay okay this is not good okay we're running guys we actually have kind of like a working mob farm down here and we also got some iron let's go we only got one bone but that will give us three bone meal and i also think if i'm going to be spending as much time as i will be spending down here i should probably make some stairs another piece of bread i don't think it's going to be enough to heal us this time but maybe we'll get lucky with an apple here yes we got an apple the Minecraft gods are favoring us again. And for the stone cutter, I just need three stone and one iron. And then I can make stairs. This time as I go down, I'm going to replace the floor with some stairs. Take aim, big mamacita. We got some more bones, which is great. This is probably like my favorite place in this entire chunk, mostly because it gives me so many things. These stairs have made it so much faster to traverse this place. Luckily, this wheat has grown, and this farm is coming along super great. It's growing exponentially. We're gonna make ourselves some bread and regen all our hearts, slowly just converting the entirety of this place into some more farmland. Hopefully, we can find some diamonds. I don't want the mobs to have free reign over these stairs, so I'm gonna build a fence. That's much more practical. We just made it down to deep slate, so this is a very good sign that we are getting close to diamond. And sadly, both of our pickaxes broke, so I'm heading back up to the top. The good news is that we have one wheat that has spawned in, and although we have a farm that's growing very fast, it's not keeping up with our food requirements. As I was saying, though, we do have some zombies here, and oh my goodness, it looks like we just found a cave, or part of a cave. Let's see what's in here. This is just about as hollow as my future oh never mind it looks like we just hit bedrock oh we got some mobs spawning in here which is good news 12 bone mill very good now we're just gonna clear out this trunk zero diamond that was not a success hopefully if we go up here we can find some mobs to harass <laughs> the skeleton is shooting the bats that's hilarious good job skeleton it was a collective effort i hate these things which leaves us with 15 bone mill we should have enough food for a while now if we could just go up to the surface and get some of that food before I starve and die. And then we can grow the rest of this up. I can make another piece of bread. I need to make a couple more pickaxes here. And mining for diamond at y equals negative 59 sucked. And we didn't get anything. And that has pretty much left us with no choice but to try and mine at y equals negative 30. So I mined out another almost half of this and we still haven't found diamond. Part of me is wondering if there's even any diamond in this world. Well, in this chunk, honestly. <laughs> As I was saying, bro. As I was saying. Can we get three, please? Oh, let's go. We got four. We got one. Oh my gosh. Two, three, four, five. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe it. We're we're freaking stacked on diamond. I just knew it. It was a feeling in my butt. I mean, my gut. Hopefully, if we're lucky enough, we can find some more. But honestly, at this point, we've been digging for almost an hour. And we have we've only found five diamonds we just found some skulk blocks they gave me xp that's cool i guess that means we're next to the warden goodness gracious well i'm pretty happy because we got five diamonds that's a lot better than i actually expected and we got a big gargantuous tree that just spawned here i do think now it's time to make a composter that we have wheat seeds enough of them at least let's just put a bunch of the wheat seeds in and see if we can get any bone meal got one bone meal so we actually have quite a bit of cobble deep slate so i think i'm definitely gonna be using deep slate for my home that i'm gonna build right here i think it's also a good time to make our first diamond pickaxe things are going pretty good in the life of someone like me i don't have any armor quite
quite yet, but uh, I honestly don't know if there's going to be enough iron in this chunk to even get armor. Back down here again, and we can break some of this skull, can get some XP. Oh my gosh, we just got some more diamond. Okay, how many more can we get? Three? Only three? You, oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> Oh my goodness, it's a, it's a cave. Oh, there's more diamonds. Let's go, baby. And I see some iron up there too. This is the jackpot. Let's go. Seven diamonds. This is another pretty big find right here. I'm pretty glad that we found this cave. Otherwise, it could have been one of the reasons our small little mob farm wasn't working as efficiently. And let's just hope for the best here. Oh my gosh, there's a creeper. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta run. That's embarrassing. Oh, I am about to harass this. I think I saw a creeper up there, which was one of the reasons why I fell down scared was because I, I really didn't want to blow up to it. And I think this cave is safe now. Let's grab this iron that we desperately need. And honestly, we have quite a bit of diamond. I don't think we need to keep mining at this point. I think we've explore, explored most of this chunk, if not all of it. Oh my gosh, it's an enderman. Okay, we're going to look the enderman in the eyes and hopefully he's stuck there. We're just gonna beat the crap out of him. Hopefully we can get an ender pearl from this. Oh, that would have been nuts. But good job. We're gonna yoink that and put the rest of the seeds in this composter. It's been raining quite some time, but I think now we're going to make our base. And that means we're also gonna have to terraform this kind of mountain. Let's get rid of our stone cutter and our crafting table, and we can put that a little deeper into our home. Let's place some planks down. We can put a door in the middle here. Sadly, we don't have glass quite yet, so uh, we're just gonna have to make do with what we've got. I do think it's going to be a smart idea to make a shovel here. And I almost forgot I want to keep my diamond in the chest just because if I die and something crazy happens, like it falls in lava, I don't want to have all my hard work go to waste. I also think I'm going to place some oak logs up here on the top, like so. And now to terraform this baby out. So for this design, I think I'm going to make some polished deep slate with some tiled deep slate and we're going to make it into like a checkered pattern. And I think as this border expands for the next video, I will build the house longer. So for the time being, this is what we'll have for our home. It's not the best, but uh, it'll have to do for now. And I'm actually going to remove these planks and change it to like a stone texture. I do need to mine some andesite really quickly and some diorite. And with the materials we already have, we're going to mix them into the wall and I personally think this looks much better than just the planks. We'll sprinkle in some stone and now we can add a front door. And while we're doing that our farm has grown quite a bit. It's great that we have a better food source coming in now. I'm going to start building the second floor by putting some cobblestone down and I'm not really sure what I'm doing but I'm just gonna make a second wall here. I hope my mother would be proud of me. I think for a window here I might make it one taller, but I'll address that in a later episode. I'm going to add this sexy deep slate into a checkered pattern like so. And it's time for us to make our first bucket. Because I have a secret strategy that involves fishing. Operation Water. But the fish is a bonus too. And I'm going to make a campfire as a renewable fuel source to cook this fish. Sadly, I've run into these guys. And even worse, I'm going to use all my iron to make a cauldron. But this is necessary if I want to make a renewable water source. Fortunately, I was able to find more iron without much headache. And while I only need one cauldron, having two might speed this process up. Really quickly, I'm doing some chest organizing in my new home, and we're stacking up on food, whether it be bread or fish. And once again, I have to deal with this buffoon. So I have a strategy with dirt that might solve the problem. And after fishing for three hours, I realized I could get bottles of water, which means I could use them to fill a cauldron. I do need to make another fishing rod because I do still need to get treasure. As I was explaining earlier, I could use these water bottles to put more water into a cauldron and then scoop it out with a bucket. And then I could take that over and make an entirely renewable water source. Pretty genius, right? Now we have Operation Farmlands. We're going to get rid of all of this to make a better farm. And I'm just going to put some water in the cauldrons just in case I ever lose my renewable water source. And while this train was originally useful, it no longer will be. So I need to make sure that it doesn't flow onto the land. And then I need to terraform the area. This will open up more area for farmland and make it look nicer. And on the left side of this house, I'm going to make a pond so I can start getting treasure from fishing. The land is ready, so I'm going to start planting the seeds. And I'm going to have to make this much deeper, but 
this is a pond. So I did some research on how to get treasure, and it has to be a certain width, and all of the blocks have to be water sources, but I'm using bone meal to also make it look nice. I do need some more diamond- oh! <laughs> we got some more diamond and we even got some gold next to it. This is crazy. This farm looks so much better and it's coming along great. We just got to set our composter down for excess bone meal. Now we're going to go fishing in our little pond to see if we can get any treasure. I also made a new campfire so we could cook this fish. Oh, look what I found. Another one of these dudes. The other nice thing about this pond is that I can fish with the comfort of my home above me so that those flying buffoons don't attack me. My last rod broke and I was able to get my hands on this fancy thing. It's got Lure 3 and Look of the Sea 3. Unfortunately, it doesn't have mending. So after getting more bread than I could dream of, and with all of my items neatly sorted, I had successfully completed all of my objectives. Which means it's time for you to watch the next video of mine. Goodbye.